Traveling tab. So two six uniform Bravo Zulu. You have reached Traveling Tap. Unfortunately, we are currently unavailable. However, we will get back to you as soon as possible. You may also reach us through email at info at travelingtap.com or book online at www.travelingtap.com. Thank you. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. To leave a callback number, press 5. Hello, my name is... I am currently at the corner of 12th and Glenwood. There is a GMC black pickup truck, Minnesota license 026, uniform Bravo Zulu, parked directly in the bike lane, towing one of your pedal pubs on a trailer, completely blocking the bike lane, and uh, I just don't know what excuse there is for this. Driver's nowhere around, vehicle has its hazards on, as if that allows them the right to park there, and uh, you will be able to find video of this incident at youtube.com forward slash Minneapolis Bike Wrath, that's M-P-L-S, bikewrath.com. All right, have a good day. Can I have one the address of the emergency? Hi, uh, I am at the corner of 12th and Glenwood. Repeat the cross street, please. 12th and Glenwood. I am on Glenwood. Exactly what happened? Yeah, we've got a, uh, a black GMC pickup truck towing a uh, pedal pub on a trailer, both parked directly in the middle of the bike lane. Okay, one moment.
And what's the phone number you're calling from? And is it on Glenwater on 12? Say again, uh, say one more time. Oh, it's on, on Glenwood or on 12? It's on Glenwood facing uh, westbound. Okay, and what's your name? Okay, we'll get an officer dispatch as soon as possible. I want you to call us back immediately. If anything changes, you have any further information as the vehicle leaves the area. Okay, could I get a uh, reference number? 18-144-021. Thank you much. Bye. This is your guys' truck? You You're aware that this is an illegal place to park your vehicle, right? Yeah, I was holding it up and uh, stopped. It's been here at least six minutes. I've been standing out here for six minutes. You've been breaking the law for six minutes. Oh my god, have we? I mean, that thing kills people. Do you want to give me a ticket? No, the cops have already been called and your employer. Oh, okay. Uh, video will be up there with your uh, company name tagged to it. If you're in the business of bicycling, why not protect cyclists? Yeah, exactly. Can I ask you a Sure. Cyclists can run red lights. We can't. Oh, okay. So why can they? We do it much less than motor vehicle drivers. This has been shown in study after study. Also, we are not in a 4,000 pound machine that kills 100 people a day in the U.S. alone. Well, you're endangering yourself by running around. Are you saying there's an equivalence between endangering myself and endangering someone else? Are you saying those are morally equivalent actions? Morally. Morally equivalent, so that's why we put people who attempt suicide in prison. Right. You're saying that cyclists are just as bad as drivers, even though cyclists don't kill other people. Yeah. Also, drivers are responsible for 65% of the crashes that involve cyclists. So it's really not our fault as much as you'd like to think it is. I'm not judging you one bit. I... I'm judging the hell out of you for not moving this vehicle if you don't... Uh... I didn't use the restroom? So park it somewhere legal. Just because you have to piss doesn't mean you get to break the law. Okay. Especially when this vehicle kills people and this piece of infrastructure here is in place to protect our lives, not for you to park so you can go use the john. Okay. Like, what do you not understand about this and why haven't you moved your vehicle yet? We you don't think it's a big deal, that's the problem here. It's not at all what we think. Okay, so why aren't you moving your vehicle? We should have moved it, but we just used the restroom. So use the keys on your truck and pull it into a legal parking spot. Okay. Please do that right now. Well, we're going to leave. All right, good. Thank Take you. Care. Just shows a sociopathic lack of regard for other people in your community. Yeah, you think that your need to go pee is more important than other people's right to be safe on the road. That's what you told me. You said I needed to pee so I parked illegally in this bike lane even though I knew it was illegal and dangerous. Right? That's what you told me? That's sociopathic. That's not caring about other people's lives. I wouldn't call myself sociopathic. But you think that your need to pee is more important than other people's lives. This wasn't affecting anyone's life. What? What's that? This wasn't affecting anyone's life. It doesn't what? wasn't affecting anybody's life. You don't think so? No. So why do you think the city built this bike lane? To waste their tax dollars? Maybe it's to protect us from the 6.2 times rate of fatality we face over motor vehicle operators? You definitely got your numbers right. Yeah, well, when, uh, when you go to enough memorial rides, you start paying attention to that shit. I, I put three people in the ground last uh, year because of shit like this and countless more I've gotten permanent brain injuries because of shit like this. This is people's lives. It matters more than you need to pee.
then that would be a need that doesn't have to do with someone's need to pee. No, but I'm just saying, it still be parked here. Yes. It has nothing to do with what I was doing. Right. So, where's your explanation and your numbers for that? When people have actual emergencies, we allow them emergency access to infrastructure they might not otherwise have. Yeah. When people have to pee, you obey the fucking law. You obey the law. You agreed to follow when you got your driver's license. What, what about that means that your life, your need to pee is more important than people's lives? Well, I feel like this argument's going to go nowhere. Yeah, it's because you don't care about other people in your community. I don't care. Your truck's still in the fucking bike lane. Why is it still in the bike lane? You've agreed that it's a problem. You've agreed it's illegal. You agreed to leave, and yet you're still here. Why are you still here? The cops are on their way. Of course, of course, that would happen right as they're fucking pulling away. Fucking assholes. Hi, I just called in a truck parked in the bike lane at 12th and Glenwood. The truck has since moved. Are you requesting Yep. And what is your name? Alright, I'll cancel the call. Have a good night. You too, thanks.